Good morning everyone, Jeanette with Vivo Vintage Designs. There was a challenge on one of the groups that I belong to, to do a flower using only pitch black and snow cap for the center. So I thought I'd try it on tile because the colors stay more vibrant on the tile. So, alright, let's start by putting down some pitch black. I'm going to put a good amount on there. And then I'm not going to use my airbrush. I like using the blower, the uh, Ranger air blower. Instead, on tile. Works beautifully. Alright, so I'm going to dry the pitch black. And I'm using a good amount of alcohol because I want to create large petals. If you use a small amount of alcohol, the petals are much smaller. I'll show you what that looks like in a moment. When you use pitch black, there's a lot of different colors in there, so I'm getting a lot of pink. You might get blues and purples. All right, I'll do a small amount of alcohol here so you can see. See how much smaller your petals become? Look at the blue coming out in this one. See that? And I'm only using one color. I like to stagger my petals. I don't like when they look as though they're laying one on top of the other all in a row. This is so easy. I hope you give this a try using just one color. So I've told you before in my past videos using the, uh, the Ranger air blower, the closer you get, the wider your petals become. And it also gives it these little lines, which I kind of like. Every time you squeeze and it pushes the air, it creates like a demarcation line. And it's really a pretty effect. This is, this is gorgeous. A little petal here. I think this is finished. This is really pretty. Make sure everything is dry. And to clean up the edges, this is what I do. Take a paper towel, wrap it around my finger. I put some alcohol on it and use my finger as a guide. 
and just wipe off the sides. So while that noise is really annoying, it's what you want to hear. And then you should change the paper towel so you have a clean area when you wipe. Otherwise you're just moving the ink to a different location on the tile. Okay, let's create that center. I'll be using a snow cap and a micro brush. I think I want this one to go this way. So I'm putting down a little snow cap on my palette and because the center is large I'm going to grab a micro brush with a large tip on it. I always dab it off a little bit and then I'll start making my center. So as I unload most of the ink off the brush, I start moving down because I want it to be lighter down here. I want my light to be coming from this direction, so I'm going to keep it more white on top. So whenever I load, I try to start at the top and then move down. You can see how much lighter it is as I move down. One more layer and I think I'll be finished. Alright, maybe one more. Okay, that's finished. Let me bring it up to you. So, I'm sorry about the uh, the glare from the light ring, but the center is really pretty. This is just one color, pitch black on tile, 
and it's fantastic. I hope you give this a try. Thanks everyone for watching. I hope you had a good 4th of July. And take a look at my Facebook page, Bebo Vintage Designs, where I post all of my art and occasionally do a live video. And let me know if you have any questions. Thanks for watching. Bye.